Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys three of the best big man builds on NBA 2K23. Now, to my people on current gen, these builds will all work for you as well. So don't think you have to click off and go watch somebody else's video. You can stick around and still watch mine. But as you can see, these are the three builds we're going to be going over today right here. I have an inside big man, an outside big man, as well as a hybrid that can dribble and shoot. And as you can see right there, the six foot ten point forward is back. But let's get started, man. We're going to start with this inside big right here. This is definitely a build that reminds me a lot of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So let, 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 let's get into it. So right here, we're going to click edit build. Position, you're going to want to go center. Handedness doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't really matter. Height, 7 foot 1. Weight, 246. Wingspan, we're going to go 7 foot 10. I went 7 foot 10 because this is going to give us a big enough wingspan to get really good contests, but then still also have that 81 mid-range, which will get us mini magician on Hall of Fame. So we can shoot some really good post fades on this build. This is definitely going to be a post score type of build that could still definitely knock down some mid-range shots as you can see with this build this has a 93 close shot which gets you fearless finisher on hall of fame decent driving layup an 85 driving dunk which gets you all of the basic contact dunk packages as well as silver posterizer a 90 standing dunk which will get you all of the big man contact dunk packages as well as a 94 pose control which will actually give you quick first step on gold with this build and then as we come to the shooting right here it's only two major things mid-range shot in 81 that's going to get you that midi magician on hall of fame which activates on your post fades your dribble pull ups as well as your spin jumpers from the mid-range area you're also going to get space creator on hall of fame which is important to have on this build as well because this actually will allow you to hit some post hop shots as well as step backs in the mid-range area free throw we went with the 76 i feel like that is a good enough rating to be able to knock down some free throws in important situations where you actually need to hit them moving on to the playmaking pass accuracy is out of 70 i feel like that is the bare minimum that you need in order to be accurate with your passes up the court and then coming to the defense now obviously you can do this however you want but i wanted to go with a little bit more offensive rebounding and defensive rebounding on this build since this is more of an inside big so we ended up going with a 93 offensive rebound which is going to get us that gold rebound chaser and you're definitely going to be really good when it comes to getting o boards for the team kicking out the shooters or finishing off the bucket on your own and then when it comes to the defensive rebound although it is a 78 remember you're still going to have gold rebound chaser and remember when it comes to defensive rebounding it's more of a big deal to try and get good positioning instead of having a really high rebound rating you can rebound pretty decently with 70 to 80 rebound rating as long as you can get good positioning last thing with defense interior defense is an 80 that's going to get you post move lockdown on silver obviously you don't have to copy this build 100 if you want to lower the driving dunk if you want to lower the driving layup or the close shot you can but remember your close shot is tied to your post hook this year so you might not want to do that if you want to play like kareem hit some sky hooks and stuff like that but you can definitely lower the close shot driving layup and driving dunk and put those on to defense but i wanted to go with a little bit more of an offensive heavy center but we can still play some pretty solid defense and then an 87 block that's going to get you silver anchor and then coming to the physicals speeds out of 60 strength is out of 76 i feel like that's a decent sweet spot on this type of build again if you want to go for higher strength you're gonna have to sacrifice attributes somewhere else verticals out of 75 you need that to get the contact dunk packages and then stamina is out of 86 i feel like you don't need much higher than that unless if you're a primary ball handler if you're a primary ball handler like a point guard or a shooting guard you probably want that 90 95 stamina yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this build and then the takeover options that you have are gonna be all of the post scoring glass cleaning as well as rim protecting takeover so let's say you want to run post shot daggers as a primary and then you could run something like box out wall as a secondary or you could flip that box out wall as a primary and post shot daggers as a secondary takeover you can absolutely do that build is complete and you're going to get the build name you're going to get the shades of kareem abdul jabbar mitchell robinson and rudy gobert and you're going to get the build name inside the arc glass cleaner so now let's move on to the next build all right so this next build right here is actually pretty scary it's a seven foot one center that gets double slashing takeover while still having an 83 three-pointer and being pretty solid on the defensive end as well let's take a look at this really quickly height just like the previous build seven foot one weight's going to be 230 pounds this time and wingspan of seven foot seven that's the largest wingspan you can go while still having an 83 three-pointer and with that you can get hall of fame space creator on this build which is a badge i love to have on all of my players being able to hit step back shots with that hall of fame space creator is so so clutch and i'm telling you you could consistently hit step back threes with an 83 three-pointer on this type of build you guys know me you've seen me hit these shots pretty consistently on all of my builds throughout the entire year so far but yeah so that's going to be the body settings now let's take a look at the attributes now you have to make this build in a very 
specific way in order to get the slashing takeover. You actually have to max out all of your ball handle and speed with ball on this build in order to get the slashing takeover, but I do think it's worth it, and here's why. So when you're looking at the finish, you obviously see we have the 85 driving layup as well as the 85 driving dunk. When you run double slashing takeover, that is going to increase those attributes at double the rate compared to normal. So your driving layup and driving dunk will go up 15 once you activate a single stage of takeover. It was like this last year. We tested it in my career. It's like that this year again as well. When you double up on takeovers, your attributes increase at a much faster rate. So when you activate a single stage of takeover, your driving layup and driving dunk will both be a 99 on a seven foot one build, which is absolutely insane. I can't even, that, that's just crazy. You're going to get insane contact dunks on this build. And when it comes to pick and roll, this build will be crazy. Now let's move on to the shooting. You got the mid range to an 81. That's going to get you mini magician on hall of fame. Obviously, pull-ups, spin jumpers. You can hit those in the mid-range. 83 three-pointer, I've already explained that. That's going to get you space creator on Hall of Fame, as well as some pretty good jump shot bases. I really like using the Joel Embiid base when I have an 83 three-pointer because it has an A-plus timing impact, so it's a very easy jump shot to time. And then moving down to the playmaking, 70 pass accuracy. I feel like that's the bare minimum. And like I stated earlier, you must max out your ball handle and your speed with ball if you want to get double slashing takeover on this build. Now, you don't have to max that out, and then you can use those attributes on defense, but you can't get the slashing takeover over, which is what I think makes this build very unique. Because also remember with that double slashing take, your speed's going up plus 15 with takeover, your acceleration's going up plus 15, your vertical's going up plus 15. So you're just going to be ridiculously fast on the court with double slashing take as soon as you activate just a single stage of takeover. And then when you have double takeover, it's even crazier. But I can only talk my head off so much about having double slashing take. I think on bigs, having double slashing take is actually such an insane takeover because of the boost to give you to your physicals. Then moving on to the defense, we got an 80 88 interior defense. That's going to get you post move lockdown on gold. Perimeter defense, we moved up to a 66 just so we can move around a little bit faster on the perimeter. Obviously, it's not amazing. It's a 66, but let's remember you're seven foot one. You're not going to be out on the perimeter too much. But if for some reason you have to play some sort of hedge defense, you have it. You, you can you can play a little bit of perimeter D. Block at a 93. That's going to get you gold anchor. Offensive rebound is not upgraded at all. But again, if you want to make some changes, you absolutely can. And then defensive rebound at a 93 to get you that gold rebound chaser. When it comes to these spot up builds, I don't really upgrade the offensive rebound too much because those are very long rebounds to try and attempt to go and get. When it comes to the physicals, we're going to max out your speed, max out your acceleration because the acceleration you actually want to max out in this situation because if you have the ball in your hand and you're running a fast break situation with slashing take, oh, you're going to be moving really, really fast. Strength to a 76, that's going to get you brick wall on silver. And I've heard from a lot of people that brick wall on silver is the sweet spot this year. Gold is only slightly better than silver brick wall, but and then obviously Hall of Fame is by far the best when it comes to that, but Hall of Fame brick wall is pretty difficult to get. So we went with the 76 strength to get us that silver brick wall. Once you have your workouts done, that's going to be an 80 strength. You're not going to get back down too much in the pose, combining that with also having 88 interior defense, being 7-1, having a massive wingspan. You won't be bullied around too much in the post as long as you play some good hands up defense. And then the vertical has to be a 75 to get you the contact dunk packages. And then the stamina is at an 85. I wanted to do this approach and show you all of the attributes already so I can explain everything as I go in a little bit more detail. I think this 7-1 build is going to be insane. You're a knockdown shooter. You're an insane finisher at the rim. And here's the thing. This type of build in a pick and roll or pick and pop type of situation is going to be lethal. I've been catching insane lobs on my 6-10 stretch four that has double slashing take. So I'm pretty sure it'll be the exact same way on this build. But yeah, that's how you make this build. And then when you get here, as you could see, the takeovers you can get are slashing, sharpshooting, playmaking, as well as rim protecting take. I want to experiment with some of the other takeovers. Obviously, double limitless is insane this year, but being being able to have double finishing moves on a build like this, you can move so fast and you become such a threat on offense. And it still helps you out on defense because it's boosting your speed, your strength, your vertical, as well as your acceleration. But that's going to be this build. You're going to get the shades of Joel Embiid, Chris Traps, Porzingis, and Carl Anthony Towns, which are some amazing player comparisons. And you get the build name two-way three-level score, which was actually a very popular, popular build name last year. And you know, it's not the greatest build name in the world, but that definitely resembles exactly what this build is. And that is how you make that build. But now let's move on to the final build, which is a six foot 10 point forward. All right. So when it comes to this final build, you have to make it at the small forward position. Handiness, jersey number do not matter. Height, six foot 10 
weight, I would say go 200 pounds. Wingspan, we're actually gonna max out on this build and then body shape, we're gonna go define. This build is basically just a play glass from last year. Pretty solid defense, pretty solid playmaking, little bit below average on the shooting, but if you feel like you're a confident shooter, you definitely can knock things down with a 79 three-pointer. And then as you see with the finishing up there on the top, you get a 93 driving dunk with this build as well, which turns this 6'10 into probably one of the more insane point forwards I've ever seen in this game. You get the elite contact dunks plus gold poster you have a 79 three-pointer. You're going to have all of the major things in playmaking. You have a high pass accuracy. You're going to get dimer on Hall of Fame, high ball handle, high speed with ball. And then the defense is pretty insane on this build as well. 80 interior, 80 perimeter, 78 steel. That's going to get you that interceptor on silver. Block at an 87 to get you silver anchor. And then an 85 defensive rebound to get you that silver rebound chaser. And with all that on top of it, this build has an 81 speed and a 79 acceleration. This build is absolutely insane on the court. Now, when it comes to making sure you get the name point forward in case you got guys want to adjust this build a little bit. You cannot lower the pass accuracy any lower than 86. And then the ball handle and the speed with ball have to be maxed out on this build. You cannot change the ball handle speed with ball at all. And then the pass accuracy cannot be lower than 86 or else you will not get the name point forward on this build. But this build is very insane. And then the takeovers can take this build to a whole different level because you can run because the takeovers you can get on this build are all of the slashing, playmaking, lockdown, as well as rim protecting takeovers on this build. And like I stated with the previous build, Build. you can run double slashing takeover and be such a menace on offense. Again, this is going to increase your speed, acceleration, speed with ball, your vertical, your driving dunk, driving layup, plus 15 when you double up on it. So you could, you could become an insane ISO build if you're running double slashing, or you can mix it up, run one slash, one extreme clamps. I feel like this is a good combo. Or what I'm wanting to do is run double extreme clamps because that's going to increase your perimeter defense plus 15 once you have takeover. Same thing for your steel as well as your speed and acceleration still on this build. So I feel like double extreme clamps on this build could be insane. Build is complete though. You're going to get the player comparisons of Xavier McDaniel, LeBron James, and Jason Tatum, which are some insane player comparisons. And as you see, you get the name Point Forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.